I don't blame them for being like, I actually don't want a thong riding up my ass when I'm trying to compete at literally the highest level possible. Mm -hmm. Naomi Saka, Mm -hmm. the tennis player. Yeah, she um, said she wasn't going to talk to the press anymore and she was fined for that. And Mm -hmm. women stood by her. Well, so, okay, on the topic of fines, though, this is what I wanted to talk about. Yeah. Sports have so many dumb fucking rules where it's like, they're like, in everything it's in what you wear it's in how you're allowed to act what you have to do mm-hmm. so most recently um the european handball handball federation just find the norwegian women's beach team because they didn't want to wear bikini bottoms during a championship match and instead they wanted to wear biker shorts so according to their federation their rules dictate that women need to wear sports bras and bikini bottoms quote with a close fit and cut on an upward angle what? toward the top of the leg and it says that sides shorter than four inches during beach competition must be worn so basically they're like you have to be wearing bikini bottoms that are very revealing and when the cut asked about this or maybe it was the new york times quoting quoted by the cut <laughs> um they asked one of the spokespersons to say like why this is and they were like we don't know so because it's hot well so that's the thing so apparently like the olympics has put in regulations and rules in the past to try and boost ratings um Mm -hmm. like at one point they had the badminton world federation team they made them all play in skirts to help boost ratings wow so this could very much be something like that but it's not confirmed okay um, and at the end of the day, like, were they fined a ton? No, I think the total was like a thousand, like fifteen hundred dollars, maybe per person or the team for the whole team. Okay. It was like seventy five dollars per person or wow, some shit. I think the Olympics makes a lot of money off uh, finding women. <laughs> well, and so it's it's like this is really stupid. It seems super sexist, and it's 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 not like wearing biker shorts is going to make the sport more difficult to play. And in a world we, where we're also like body focused i don't blame them for being like i actually don't want a thong riding up my ass when i'm trying to compete at literally the highest level possible Mm -hmm. i'd like to be comfortable yeah i think that the the thong whatever swimsuit they're gonna wear like it falls off you it's just uncomfortable your whole body's revealed they should be wearing whatever they fucking want to wear you know what i mean it's just it it makes me feel sad but in a random turn of events unsuspecting you might say pink the singer yeah offered to pay the fines <gasps> she was like this is sexist let me take care of it for that's you that's so cool rock yeah. on pink rock on pink okay wait so what did what did they end up um competing in do you know they wore their shorts and they got fined that was oh, the whole thing oh, it's oh. like they wore that and they got fined oh, right, for it okay. and now pink is like i'll just cover your bill no worries i, I got thought you. i saw something about them wearing like full suits but uh, no they literally just wanted to wear sports bras and biker shorts yeah I mean, let them. That's hot too. What about all the like TikTok biker short trends? Mm. They're trendy, okay? Mm. Um, on another note, I saw this documentary that just came out.